Today we're playing Jack and Diana. This deck is a mix of Nightfall with mana refill through coins and the Mirai Reef Spire. The way to combo with this deck is using the Perfidious Promoter to generate units every time you refill mana, which is easy with those coins and that landmark. And yeah, it gets kind of ridiculous with the new chain caster giving you zero mana units. This deck might not look like much on the surface, but you'll see me break Rune Terra completely in this video. But before we continue with the Rune Terra gameplay, I am very very happy to announce that this video is once again sponsored by Cards and Castles 2. Collectible cards spring to life in this wacky tactical CCG, and I'm no stranger to this game, as I've gotten addicted to playing it the last two times I covered this game on the channel. The latest update added a draft mode to the game, so if you've been waiting for another way to play this game, draft mode allows you to pick a primary and secondary class before unveiling rounds of three choices of cards to add to your deck. If you get lucky, you can even add multiple copies of the same legendary card to your deck and you don't even need to own any of the cards keep winning to keep receiving better rewards at the end not only that the game has been revamped to allow for better balance and more archetypes many cards were changed to make more interesting combos as well as change prices for balance and rewards are easier to obtain rather than only having changed cards be eligible for a refund there is a short window after every patch where every single card can be refunded for the full cost you can exchange change any card for another one of the same rarity for a limited time. So this will be the time to build the deck you've always wanted to play. So check out Cards and Castle 2 with my link below right now on Steam, iOS and Android. And of course, I'm not going to leave you empty handed. You can use promo code SNUI2 for some free goodies. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what deck you play in this fantastic tactical CCG. And now let's get back to some Rune Terror gameplay. Can't actually finish the game with the whining line. I am running Pill Cascade. Pill Cascade is way too good not to run. I would love to pass here, but playing a one drop into Bar Knuckles is too good. If you go into leak line, you could probably block him if you send out a regret, but does that do anything in Rune Terra? That's mostly what I'm thinking. Does that matter? It's your favorite food? Man, I had a really good ribeye at an Argentinian restaurant. That's up there. Okay. This is actually pretty good. Wait, this is actually insane. Wait, guys. We can play this if Diana want to attack, and then because of the Mirai Reef. Damn it. Because of the Mirai Reef, we can still play the Bar Knuckles. Okay, yeah, they're, okay, they are just jamming though. They are. Okay, we need we need our win cons. We need Jack, we need Perfidious Promoter, and Winding Light? I think we're doing alright. We're in an okay spot here. Okay, there's Winding Light. Okay, this is pretty good. Croakers and crawlers, I study them all, Lurs. Okay, if uh Nico levels here, it's not good for us. They're just six wide casually. Okay, let's see what happens here. Bloom and fade with the morning. Let's see if that's any good. Night descends. I will be heard. What's a paladin? How are you doing? Okay, they're not dead. <laughs> That is a good amount of damage. This might be Nico. What? Okay, the coins so far aren't. We have five, six coins. 
What am I supposed to do with six coins? <laughs> I can't use six coins for anything. Oh no. You need Knuckle? I do not need Knuckle. No, this, uh, this is an anomaly. This will never happen again. Is it going for Sphere, sir? Chosen of the Moon. <laughs> Seven coins, man. Ah! What is that? It's even trying to talk. Dude, seven the coins! Queen, the night, her kingdom. I, I think we're on to something here, though. I think we are. It feels smooth, you know, playing it. It, it. it feels like you got stuff going on. It's just, it needs some bit more card generation. So with Perfidia's, it'd be so good. Mine is the one will. Face your heretic. Right, I'm just gonna flex on him here. Look at how rich I am. I got money. Give me everything. I should have done the math. Yeah, I should have done the math because I could have lost that. All right. No, I think the it didn't matter. Of the heretic rang I don't. Uh, math is for. Uh, first of all, yes, math is for block, but I also don't think it mattered. When Cosmic Call deck? Dude, I love Cosmic Call. But it's... Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. It's bad after the nerf. Like, unplayable bad. It makes me really sad. Okay, so what we need to remember is that they can literally heal themselves back to full. Where's Luigi? Right there. <laughs> there he is. Ill met by moonlight. I think I'm just on shackling here. I think this is better. Like I could also equip the bar knuckles, but this is just three extra damage. Next turn to Avalanche though, and we all die. Everything dies. If they play Luigi, it's also bad because then everything dies to Ice Shard. Goodbye, board. Oh, sweet. Okay, perfect. That's such a good card. Okay. Winnable. Very winnable. Perfidious Marauder is everything, man. When you're out of tempo, when you're out of fuel, you just promoter it up. Name's lame. Don't you forget. We don't get anything for playing him, but this coin does. This coin gets us a four drop? A 
Okay, but this is insane. Like, the change that you get Chained Cancer, if you play, like, to empty your mana, is actually so good. It is incredibly good. Because now this lets us empty our mana. It's, it's insane. This actually changes everything. They forced us to choose death or the blade. <laughs> Who dares challenge the wild? And they missed. Wait. I wield the storm. Okay, yeah, we'll just play this. And then we get another caster, right? Playing this gives us another caster. Empire, battle by battle. <laughs> And then if we play this, this refills mana. It's like, it doesn't give us another one though, because it's fleeting, right? But it does refill our mana. So Babs gets one attack. Oh no, you need to spend mana to play it, okay. Nah, but you gotta admit, that's, that's actually kind of sick. There is something here. It feels awkward sometimes, but that is insane. You cannot overcome me. Survival through savagery. Two damage. Actually, they could just block here if they wanted to. Nature does not yield. We have a level jack too. Yeah, the deck is actually insane, man. Perfidia's promoter is so good now with Chaincaster in the game. You can exactly afford. Okay, so this is probably where they use Avalanche or something. Playing Mako. No, I don't like it. Uh, I'm not interested in using like big stacks of coin with this deck. It's all about using one coin at a time to get value from stuff like Perfidious and Nightfall. It's Mako. In Dutch is Mako. That's, that's why I said it like that. <laughs> oh my god, and we have a weapon? Wait. Attack stun all damaged enemies. No. This gives us another caster. Oh, no, it doesn't because <laughs> Perfidious Promoter died, right. Yeah, that wouldn't work then. Yeah, so we can't beat Harsh Winds, and they probably have it. I say Mayoko? I have no idea. I say Makai? No, it's always harsh, man. If this was still burst speed, at least we'd be able to do one damage. Now we got nothing. Ages pass, yet I remain. It's Malka in Dutch, bro. It's a name, man. It's like saying what's Lazarus in Dutch. <laughs> this storm brings death. More than mortal, I am Iceborne. I can't let this guy hit me, can I? No. Sakaan. Killing light. They haven't played Luigi yet. This gives us a two draw. And because we have two here, okay. That sucks. I know what people want, and I know how to get it. Oh, oh, oh. Two of them. Kip and I will scout ahead. Can't be Kip. <laughs> this is, this is really fun. We're just filling the board. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I know what to do here. That's crazy, man. Oh, 
What? That's how that works? Yeah, I mean. Sure. All right, well, I know how I'm spending my eight mana next turn. <laughs> oh, what? When all is dark and cold, I shall remain. Okay, okay. What, what do we lose to here? Double Ice Shard? No, Double Ice Shard like kills themselves, right? <laughs> Please. Please, man. I love this deck. What is that, man? Oh my god. Nice. No. Nami is not a good card. Nami makes a lot of decks just worse by being in it, so I am not going to consider playing a card that is meme in an already meme deck. Drop the game because 90% of magic felt like go meta or go home. It's not always like that. But uh, there are definitely some decks where, you know, that is m much more visible than others. And I think that is one of them that we just played against, yeah. It's like with Nora decks, if you don't deal with Nora on turn 2, she just summons free portals. And if you don't get any good draws, their portals somehow just have better stats than yours. Like Nora is a 2 mana 1 2, it hit our Nexus and it summoned a 3 3 for them. And because we had a bad mulligan, where we only had metal bass with no mana refill, the 3-3 three, three just completely like stonewalled us. This is not eternal, man. Their scent travels on the night air. What's the solution for the deck with removal control? Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it's part like analyzing the meta and figuring out what does well against them. But if you're playing builds for the Targon, there's only so we much you can do, you know? We are the threshold of something great. I, I, I could play Hushes, but do I, do I want to spend a Hush to deal with a Nora in a region that has like infinite removal? It doesn't feel great. I, I don't know if there's a good answer. Top three ultimate meme decks of all time. Time on printer. <laughs> Honestly, if we're going for a meme, I like the Mecha Yordle Aurelian Soul deck where you try to get a little dipper and then you put Aurelian Soul in the little dipper. Another one that has to be mentioned is Telsey Volibear. Telsey Volibear Otacon. That's my resting face. Literally going into the millions. Ugh. If they find a one drop here, it's bad, man. They'll never see us coming. Okay, if that was a one drop, Money um, spin it would have been possible for them to play the ephemeral one drop and then have um, the shark back. This is good though. Uh, this is again Perfidious Promoter just showing its power. Pretty wide. If you do not have a part to play, take one. That is a weird stun. Our purpose calls to us. We cannot turn away. I have to equip this because uh, this can't block Brash. So what if we just do this? And then we unshackle and play Pill Cascade somewhere and challenge this? Moonlight guide me. No more lies. We'll get rid of the will be heard. elusive. I think this can just kill us. Whereas this, you know, it's a shark, it's extra damage, but it's something we can probably deal with. Yeah. It's, done. it's not bad for them. How many? They don't have any Hallowed stacks, so we're just able to block the Gwen. We're in a pretty good spot here. That's really good. So immense the soul. Full speed. 
speed ahead. Yeah, we're taking a good amount of damage here, though. No, you won't cut it. Two HP. Does this deck have any burn? You cannot hold us down. I didn't think. I mean, what I'm scared of, kind of, is uh, the draggling attack. And if it's a draggling attack, I don't know if it's lethal. Gwen is burn. Yeah, Gwen is burn. This is six coins. How the hell did I get six coins from that? Six coins? I could almost play two of them. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Oh my god. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Temperamental as moonlight. Stun better. It only stuns one, right? One stun versus one extra unit is basically the same thing. Deck. Uh, you can. I don't know what good it does, though. Um. Yeah. Nope. Not good. Not good. Fine. Yeah, I don't know, man. This card refilling mana is just kind of crazy. I really like it. So... Pretty likely that they have Falling Star. This is three more damage. This is, well, it's two more damage than what we're doing right now. I think I care more about the coin. Okay, well, Dan is dead. Goodbye. Oh, no Falling Star. Lit. <gasps> Jack top deck? Friend, I bid you welcome. Awesome. No more lies. Harm no dragon. I forgot to make a jack card. Oh, we can't see the master. Can we see it here? I can't. We're almost uh, max level with jack. Yeah, so this is why I didn't use the uh, the shackle. Because, uh, yeah, let's, let's get rid of that. Okay, if we, if we can draw a unit here, we can maybe build a board that's good enough for a winding light turn. Sure. Another one. <laughs> Does that just heal Jag? Oh yeah, that's good. That's the stuff. Okay, here we go. Unshackle, winning light. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, you gotta admit, chat. It is kinda cool. It's kinda cool, right? There, there, there are lines here. Oh. See, that's funny. 
because I could just uh, get it back here. Right now, I get Challenger again. Surely, they could have Celestial Wonder. Goodbye, Diana. Thank you for your service. Oh, oh man, this deck does things, man. When it goes, it goes hard. Whoo, that's good. That's good. Now that is really fun to be honest. That is that is awesome. Turn seven win. It's kind of a classic with Nightfall. Wait, wait when you when you talk about Whining Light, I really just miss the Victor Aphelios decks where you would play Duskbringer. And then use the the pedal to summon the whining light on turn six with your wide boar with chompers, man. Good times. Jack is so cool, but man, man, I forgot about him. I'll make sure you never you never forget. You're also good at the game. Oh, thank you, Aladdin. I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. From time to time, I feel like the deck works well. It's very reliant on combos though. Like the Mirai Ryu Spire enables a lot of stuff that we're doing. But I like the idea of uh, generating coins and then using them with Promoter to, to get the casters. No activator for Diana right now. I think we have to eye and just attack. Oh, never mind. That's pretty good. I I was very tempted to pass there, but I don't think I can. Because this is a deck that essentially can't do much without anything on the board. And if they pass with just the Babs on the board... Uh, okay. I mean, that can't block either way. You literally can't block anything here. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I mean, good attempt, you know. Good attempt. You could probably kill the Diana next turn if you want to. <laughs> that face went brash and quick attack. Do I have to kill her and you for an invitation, huh? This is a five drop? Not worth an ambush. Wait, chat. Alter to Unity? This this might actually be an Alter to Unity deck. Is it? I think it could actually be. Who else wants to bet against me, eh? That was a good top deck. If it is, that's that's kind of cool. I low-key would play that. I would. I would play an alter to UDD deck with Morgana and Liminal Guardian. There's gotta be a good, like, second champion, though, for that concept, no? It is! Dude, that's so sick, man! I will be heard! Oh, I like I like this a lot. I might need to play this. Nah, that's hella cool. Night flowers upon my blade. The promise of a new moon upon you, Bloom Tender. This die. Both die. Not now. Told you I'd get us inside. You did. And boy, what an entrance. Okay. There's the reef. Oh my god. Can I play that though? This has to be better. This is better. Boats? 
Boats? Alright, okay, this one is for you, Chad. This one's for you. We get the chain caster! Oh my god, the chain caster gives us more stuff for the boat. Oh, there's no shot. That's such a vile combo. What the hell? <laughs> Perfidious promoter. Oh, I love this card so much. Perfidious promoter is so funny, dude. Who is that little dude in the shoulder? Who is this? I shall show Who is this? Them what it is that Mark? Maybe that's Mark. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be Mark, right? Come on, do your worst. That heals them. But it kinda needs to be done. Was that wrong? If I did it with Jack, I got one coin. <laughs> okay, everyone. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing they could do about it because of the, the brash attacks. But I had to give my entire board brash. It would have been 11. I think it was lethal either way. It was lethal either way, but yeah. Alright, GG. Mr. Shifter, not a quitter, fighting for